I'm Jeff Stewart, licensed marriage and family therapist and the host of this podcast, From Crisis to Connection. Honesty skills are tested under stress. You know, it, you can catch a ball on the, on the field in practice, but can you do it in the big game when the championship is on the line? So mm -hmm. uh, we need to have the, the stress of reality to test our honesty skills. Uh, I remember one of my friends told me a great story from World War II where they, his, his family came from Holland and they were under German occupation and the Germans controlled everything. And his grandmother went out to the hinterlands, the rural areas and traded things that she did in the city for butter and eggs and some of the crucial things that were just really hard to come by during the war. And she rode an old bicycle like you saw in uh, The Wizard of Oz with the basket on the front and it had a mm -hmm. cover on it. And as she got back into the city after getting the, the bartering for these eggs and, and bread, uh, the guard stopped her and said, what's in the basket? And she thought to herself, am I going to be honest or not? And she said, eggs and butter. And the guard laughed, didn't believe her, and just waved her on. Didn't even bother to look in to see that there really was the coveted uh, commodities in there that were so scarce during the war. So <laughs> I, I've loved that example that, you know, when you're honest, I think you can have help from other people and maybe some divine intervention to support you in your desire to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, I love that. I love that, you know, having a belief. And, and I think that this can be reinforced with our children if we're in a position, you know, teaching, influencing our children to really emphasize and show them the positive outcomes from um, that, you know, to telling the truth and being honest um, is the better way. And I, I think these kinds of stories are huge for reinforcing those values. So, um, so these are these are basic steps or basic beliefs and, and decisions we have to make in terms of valuing honesty and and uh, more of a mindset kind of thing. Um, and so, in terms of taking this a little further, what's the next step for this? Well, after you've decided to make that a part of your life. I found in these honest leaders that there were two related core traits that really supported their being honest. And okay. they, they shouldn't be new to your leaders. They're not magic, but they're basics that we all know about. And they are sacrifice and humility. So you have mm -hmm. to sacrifice to uphold honesty. You have to admit your mistakes, even when it costs you something. And you have to be prepared to what, be prepared to walk away from some situations that might in the short term be profitable or beneficial to you, but you know that being dishonest won't help you in the long term. So you got to be prepared to walk away. Thanks for stopping by and watching this little clip of my podcast interview. If you want to catch the full episode with this guest, you can click on the link below It'll take you to my podcast and you can listen to the whole thing. Once again, I appreciate your support. I've got lots of other episodes you can check out as well. And I'd love to hear what you think about it.